Hey guys, welcome back to another Random Distractions. We're playing Tell Me Why Chapter 3, and uh, we're continuing the fishing uh, with Michael here. So, what are you going to make with what we catch? Hey, you got me figured out. Slice of fresh fish, topped with garlic, pesto, walnuts, just a drop of olive oil, pure perfection. <laughs> As my partner in crime, you're entitled to a cut. <laughs> Works for me, partner. So, about last night, I don't know what Allison said, but from my side, well, I thought we were on the same page. But it turns out we weren't. Hey, so don't tell her I told you, but last week your sister was almost unbearable. She was jumping up and down with excitement at you coming back. Really? <laughs> you better believe it. Look, the last time you saw each other, you were kids. Just because things have changed doesn't mean you can't work it out. Mm. I know. It's probably my fault. I really pushed her last night. I just don't get why she always has to run away from everything. You blame her? Avoiding the problem doesn't make it go away. She's so fixated on selling the house. It's like she's trying to bury the past. All of it. Even the good parts. Look, I'm not picking sides here. Okay, but she's been murder house girl ever since it happened. Now she's got a chance to put it behind her and start fresh. Hmm. Shit, I'd be pretty eager too. Yeah, because I didn't really think about that. I guess I didn't really think about that. I've been so focused on my own shit. It's been hard, you know? Figuring out how to live out here. You mean outside of fireweed? Yeah. When I first got there, all I could think about was getting out. It felt like a cage. But after a while, it started to feel more like a shell. I figured out who I was in there. But now I've got to work out how to be that person out here. Well, if it makes you feel any better, none of us really know what we're doing. Mm. Like shit may look bleak now, but your sister's never gonna give up on you. And you can lean on me too if you want. Just be careful, okay? Got a bad left shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep it in mind. Thanks for listening. Don't mention it. Oh, another one. You say anything. I... This one's a little tougher. Uh, easy. Oh. Whoa. Bam. Three out of three. Well played. <laughs> nice. I got nothing. That was clean. Huh. I'm a little disappointed. Can I ask you something kind of weird and maybe hard to answer? Weird and kind of hard to answer my jam. What's up? How'd you know you were ready? To uh, trust anyone enough to put yourself out there? Okay. Yeah, that, that is a hard <laughs> question. That's a tough one. Told you. There's not really two ways about it. You gotta be willing to take a hit. Look, I stopped listening to the entire indie folk genre just because I was dumped at a show once. <laughs> but I put myself back out there just like everyone who's ever gotten their heart stomped on. Because when you meet someone who really sees you, you don't have to pretend anymore. Hmm. <laughs> Hard to argue with that. And you're still interested in being that someone? Even after all the shit that's happened? Hey, I've got baggage too. I think it's worth the chance. Don't you? I think we're in total agreement here. Yeah? Yeah. I get this feeling like I could say or do anything with you, and it'd be cool. I feel safe. You are. 
because your sister would kill me if I did you dirty. <laughs> uh, yeah, she would. So, doesn't look like you're catching anything with that. You want me to show you how it's done? Go for it. She is the one that killed the mom, so well, uh, maybe that's a little too early to say that. Hey, you're missing the show. Make a move, do nothing. Eh, let's make a move, I guess. You okay? There's Allison. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's one way to put it. Hey, Allie. I think I'll just show myself out. Okay, uh, call me later. You know I will. Sorry for interrupting. No, it's totally fine. We were done anyway. Catch anything? Mostly ice, but yeah. Tyler, I'm sorry for freaking out yesterday. All of this, it's just been really hard on me. Don't apologize. I was being an asshole. We should have never pushed you that hard. Come here. God, why did I miss you so much? It's only been a day. I've been told I have that effect on people. You didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I need to show you something. What? You're kind of wearing me out. Can we sit down for a sec? So, what is it? I was just at Sam's. He's not our father. How do you know? I asked him, point blank. Hmm. Person's not his style and you believe him? I'm not surprised. Running down the barn didn't really seem like a Sam move. Yeah, I guess it was silly to suspect him in the first place. He'd never hurt Mary Ann's kids. There's something else. Look at this. This was taken in 1992 when Marianne first moved to Delos Crossing. See that ladder? Sam told me the barn has a loft. He helped her build it. Apparently she never told anyone about it. And it's still there? As far as he knows, yeah. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? We've come this far. And a hidden loft? That's got secret shit written all over it. Mm-hmm. Look here. It's not going to help us get this house sold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got our deadbeat dad to thank for that. So obviously the ladder's gone, but what about that handle? Is it still here somewhere? I think I see it. What do you think is up there? I don't know. 
I'm trying not to speculate. My brain was going to some real dark places. Just George, we don't have to do this. I'll protect you. Don't worry. Whatever's up there, I'll protect you. We'll see how chivalrous you feel when you've got bats in that perfectly coiffed hair. <laughs> Okay, so I see that thing. What do you think is up there? I don't know. I'm trying not to speculate. My brain was going to some real places. I thought I saw something right over here, but I guess my mind's just playing tricks on me. Just a regular old light switch. Nothing here. Am I supposed to be looking for something? For a second, I thought there might be another secret stash down here, but uh, just a loose plank. The handle should be behind this. Oh, there was something in the picture. Uh, must have missed. <laughs> okay. Uh, there it is. It's opening up. The secret keeper always did store all the best secrets in the clouds. Hmm. Come on, let's find a way to climb up there. Okay, so we gotta find a some sort of ladder. Ah, there we go. Yep, that's the the thing from the ending of chapter two. Can you see anything? Nope, not a. Here, found a switch. <gasps> oh, Mad Hunter. Shaved a few years off my life. <laughs> Whoa. It's her story. Hmm. She left us something. It's got a combination lock with letters. Do you think she hid the code somewhere in all this? Knowing Mary Ann, probably. Mm-hmm. Well, you want to do this? Yeah. Let's start here. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and stop the video here uh, before we uh, continue with trying to see if we can unlock or figure out this uh, secret combination for this box. Um, but um, would definitely appreciate a like on the video, of course, and uh, would appreciate you guys subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you'll know when the next one drops and we'll see um, what we find in this box. Uh, until then, hope you have a good one.